All right, let's talk about the rumor of the day. And that's Warner Brothers is going to release a director's cut. But it's going to be a Josh Whedon director's cut. Oh, my God. I feel like articles are just being written to piss me off now. You know, I feel like people are going out of their way to fucking just piss off people. Because we all know we're not going to see Zack Snyder finish his cut. It's not going to happen. All right? Like, him going to Warner Brothers to finish that shit, I wouldn't want to do that shit either. But he has a lot of scenes that they cut out, and they probably just have, you know, that they're going to edit in the movie. Now, the rumor is stating that it's going to be an extended version of the theatrical cut. We're going to see scenes that, uh, extended Josh Whedon scenes, or whatever the fuck that means. Uh, I don't buy that for a second, you know. <laughs> I I think they're going to use scenes that Zack Snyder shot. You know, because, what, what, Josh Whedon, like, totally reshoot, like, a three-hour movie, you know? And they had to cut out an hour of his version? Like, no. You know? Like, Zack Snyder shot the three-hour film. Josh Whedon came in and did reshoots and clipped off scenes to make it make sense, you know? Like, he totally got rid of subplots, like, Dark Side. He totally got rid of subplots with uh, Superman in the Black Suit, that's what Josh Whedon did with his reshoots. That's what all the reshoots are, have done to the movie. They get rid of those subplots. And now they have to follow through with these reshot scenes. I mean, if you put in the original Zack Snyder scenes, it probably changes the whole movie completely. Which I have no problem with. I would love to see that. But if we could get extended scenes of Justice League, you know, I feel like it would make the movie better. I mean, obviously, any little bit's going to help on the movie give it more depth and stuff, especially with Steppenwolf, like that whole subplot with the mother box and his mother is in the box, they can still do that. They can make that a subplot for Steppenwolf and help his character a little more, you know? He won't be such a fucking one-dimensional character. He'll have a purpose, you know? In the theatrical cut, he has literally, like, no purpose at all, so if you just gave him that little bit, he, all of a sudden he has a purpose for going for these mother boxes other than Darkseid's bidding, which he doesn't even talk about that much. Extended history lesson scene. Obviously, that's all Zack Snyder. I don't think Josh Whedon was able to reshoot any of that. So that all will be Zack Snyder. So, like, these are fucking rumors, you know? 100% <laughs> rumors that the director's cut is going to be a just a Josh Whedon director's cut. And they're only going to use Josh Whedon scenes. Like, that doesn't make any fucking sense, first of all. Because there's no way he shot that much. But anyway, that's this is what I was thinking about. Because I just came across this article and... Yeah, the article was stressing that it was a rumor, so at least they weren't, like, passing it off as, like, fact, which I appreciate. But still, like, that's just so dumb. Like, who would think that they would only use Josh Whedon scenes for an extended cut? Like, what? Like, Zack Snyder has way more scenes that they cut out. That'd probably help the movie. Help build some of these characters up a little bit more, like Aquaman. Aquaman could probably use... He'd probably benefit the most. And Flash, they would probably benefit the most from this. And Cyborg. And Steppenwolf. I mean, like, well, fuck, all the characters could benefit from this. But we, we still don't know until they actually announce the actual extended cut. You know, we're not going to know any of that. So, I'm trying not to think about it too much, but it's just like, that that rumor puts that, like, doubt in the back of my head that these dumbasses at Warner Brothers are going to fucking release just an ex slightly extended cut of Justice League that's, like, fucking 15 minutes longer, you know? Like Suicide Squad. If they do that, I'm going to be... I'm going to be a little pissed, right? I'm going to be a little pissed. I'm going to be really down on Aquaman. <laughs> like, I don't want to be down on Aquaman, but fuck, if they can't give us a true version of Justice League, like, how can we trust them to do any other fucking movie? Even though Aquaman looks awesome and James Wan's a great director, the movie's going to be good probably. But I just don't trust Warner Brothers. And the rumor, while it sounds complete horseshit, like... It sounds like that's something Warner Brothers would do, right? Warner Brothers would fucking sink that low to not even do any of the Zack Snyder scenes. To not even put any of the Zack Snyder scenes in the fucking movie. But other than that, you know, other people from the crew of the Justice League have come out and they said Zack Snyder had plenty of footage for his own cut, his own director's cut. So, who are we going to believe? People who are on the set or people who are fucking online that have blogs about this. Like, you know, who are we going to fucking believe? I believe there is enough footage for a director's cut, clearly. And what I think they're going to do is they're not going to release all of it, you know? It's going to be, like, hidden for years before we see that stuff. 
and the extended cut of Justice League is probably only going to be like two hours and 20 minutes long, you know? It's only going to be like 30 minutes longer, which is bullshit. But if they can use that 30 minutes and really, like, add some depth to the movie, I'm going to appreciate it a whole lot more. You know, I'm probably going to like it a whole lot more because I already like it right now. But if they could just fix some of these little problems I'm having with it, like, I'm fucking, I'm going to really like it. Having more Cyborg, having more Aquaman, having more Flash, and having more Steppenwolf motivations, you know, that's going to help the movie out a lot. Will we see the Superman in the black suit? Probably not. I, I doubt it. Because with the Josh Whedon reshoots, it totally reshapes the movie. You know, when you get to that Superman fight right there, he to- like that's where the movie branches off into a different route, you know. That's where it becomes a different movie. And if they put the Zack Snyder scenes in there, it's going to completely change the whole movie, probably. The whole pacing, the whole feel, it's going to be completely different. Apparently, Danny Elfman only had a month to make the score for the movie, so that he probably doesn't even have those scenes done. Those scenes probably don't even have music with them. So they would have to either put placeholder music, or they would have to rescore it, which I don't see them fucking doing. It's just annoying. But that's another thing that gets me a little worried. <laughs> the Elfman soundtrack... It has two bonus soundtracks on it called uh, Tunnel Fight Extended and Final Battle Extended, you know? Those are like the names of the tracks. And if that's what's going to be on the extended cut, just extended versions of those fights, I'm going to be fucking pissed, dude. If that's all they do to extend the movie is just make the fights longer, that's going to be that's going to be fucking horse shit. <laughs> that's that's going to be just major like fucking like, unbelievable disrespect to the fan base, you know? I can't imagine one of us is going to do that. And it's crazy, because Film Junkie, he made a good point today when he said... He made a video, and he was talking about how much Warner Brothers did so great with Wonder Woman that it just blows him away how bad they did with Justice League. And I have to agree with that. It's just like, what the fuck, you know? Like, Warner, Bro- <laughs> like Wonder Woman was such a success. Like, how do you stray off so much? And I mean, it doesn't sound like... It's possible, but Warner Brothers totally went from, like, Wonder Woman's arousing success, everything's fine with the DCU, to now that it's, like, a shit ton of problems and Justice League was fucked. It's just, like, how do they fuck up this much, you know? It really doesn't make any sense. I mean, even with their signing bonuses, you would think these fucking people would want to make a great movie that would, you know, make them a lot of money, but I guess not. You know, I guess they didn't want to make the right decisions. It's almost like they purposely made bad decisions. You know, like, who could make these horrible decisions? Like, we're just normal people, and we could probably make better decisions than them. You know, like, we could probably be better <laughs> at making these DC films. I don't know, that's just what's on my mind. That fucking rumor that the extended cut of the Justice League movie is going to be a Josh Whedon extended cut. It just has my mind blown that people could fucking really think that Josh Whedon has that much footage that he shot on his own. They would just throw out, like, over an hour of footage Zack Snyder had. They would just throw it all out, right? It's just unbelievable that some people could think that. And some people still don't believe Zack Snyder has a cut of this movie. They think it's fucking, like, a rumor still. It's like, no, man. Cinematographer came out. He says there's shots that he shot that aren't in the movie. You know, people from the crew, the Justice League crew, they are saying Zack Snyder had enough footage for a whole movie. It's just like... I'm not going to be happy until I see that cut. And we're not going to see it for a long-ass time. And my our best hope for that extended cut, Justice League, is that they fucking give us at least 30-plus minutes. Or, like, 30 minutes at least. At least 30 minutes. Like they did with uh, Batman vs. Superman Ultimate Edition. Like, you, you saw how much 30 minutes really changed that film. So just imagine how much that could change Justice League. Even if it's the same story and the same events happen... It's going to be better because it's going to be more in-depth. That alone should make it better. Make it more enjoyable to watch. And hopefully make it fit better. But as far as like junkie music and like, you know, the Hans Zimmer music and shit, like that's not going to happen at all. All that great music, we're just not going to hear it. And that's what's going to make it feel different than the first two films. Man of Steel and Batman vs. Superman. And then Justice League is just going to feel like it's not connected at all. Because it has a completely different soundtrack. Just a big clusterfuck. Yeah, I'm not going to be right till they actually announce the six ninety cut, but yeah. What do y'all think about that? It's just a cr- stupid rumor that Josh Whedon, a stupid rumor that the director's cut is going to be only Josh Whedon footage, you know? 
that's just a stupid rumor. People are trying to get under people's skins right now. There's a lot of people that like Zack Snyder's work. Surprising amount of people. And they're just trying to piss them off. They're just trying to piss us off. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. What do y'all think about that? Uh, I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.